Hey everyone, it's Buzzra, and I'm going to be showing to you today a new feature that's coming up for CJOP. So I'm currently on the beta version 1.1.85, and this option is currently enabled in the uh, options menu, and it's called record replays. And you can see that's a, a beta feature here. So I played a game earlier, and uh, I saved it under the saves files. So um, you can see that there's a red dot to indicate that it is a replay and the other ones are just saved games. So I'm just going to load up a replay for us and we'll check out the interface. So right away we can see that uh, we have vision of the whole map um, spawning here on the top as red and these are just bots. So I just played like a game with bots before. So um, as you could probably do as well when you're spectating. Um, you can just select how many uh, units are there. Um, it also selects like the deer as well, so um, it's kind of an interesting choice. With the controls, you can see that there is a pause, um, which lets you pause the game, and you can look at um, you know, specific parts of the action. Um, we also have a rewind feature, or sorry, not rewind, um, a slow a half speed feature I mean and a fast forward as well so that's two times speed and it goes up to four times speed um, so we don't actually have certain things we can see in the uh, spectator view such as um, the dots here for the other team so in spectator view you can like say click on the blue dot and we can see the vision of only blue but yeah, at the moment this is still beta version, so um, more features might be added um, later in the future. And this is going to be great um, if eventually we'd be able to uh, share replays. So for example, if two people play a game and they really want to um, send the replay over for someone else to commentate or you know uh, check out, then maybe they could do that somehow with either downloading the replay or sharing it via link somehow. Um, other features I'd like to see is perhaps different uh, indicators or um, things like a unit production or total units, um, as well as maybe the resources of each player. So at the moment, we don't actually see how many resources I have at the moment or um, how many units total I have, um, unless you manually go and select the units themselves. So those sort of things really help with um, being able to tell like who's ahead and who's behind in a game, um, especially in terms of commentating. But yeah, this replay seems to be going pretty well. Um, you can see there's a lot of units on the screen. And even though I'm playing on a laptop, it's going okay. Um, it's handling it quite well on a low powered machine, so that's very good to see. And yeah, that's about it for this video. It's going to be very short because I just want to um, quickly showcase this replace feature. Alright, and that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.